Uh, presentation is it uh, visible? PowerPoint. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Universal motor. Yeah. So I'll come to the topic as on universal uh, motors. Okay. So when we go for the universal motors, so you can see the construction that is uh, how the picture has been uh, represented. Okay. So these things uh, you can see in our uh, uh, domestic uh, usage that is in uh, mixing. Okay. So this is the rotor and uh, here is the field uh, winding. Okay. So here is the motor. So universal uh, motors. So uh, it is a special type of motors which is designed uh, for both uh, AC as well as the uh, DC supply. So which works on both uh, AC as well as the DC supply. Okay. So these motors are generally, uh, which will be a series wound. Okay. So you can see the uh, field. So it will be connected in a uh, series. So as well as here, will be this will be called as the armature. Okay. And uh, here there is one more uh, picture you can see here. So both uh, field as well as uh, uh, the armature is been uh, clubbed together. So here also, so this is nothing but the field. So here you can see the field coils. Okay. And here is the armature. So this is the shaft. Okay. So here is the armature. So for uh, uh, fixing the both uh, field as, uh, for the support of uh, field as well as the armature. We are giving the extra connections here. Okay, so here also you can see this in this picture. So this is nothing but your field winding. So the, there you can see the lines. So those are nothing but the laminated plates. Okay, and here is the armature. Okay, so field windings you can see it has been wound here. So it is a two pole uh, uh, machine. Okay, so you can see here. So here there is a one pole and here is another pole. So it is a two pole machine. And this is the armature and this is the field okay so the motor are generally series wound so which is consisting of uh, armature as well as the field winding which are in series so to have a high starting uh, torque so this type of motors are been uh, used okay so while designing this so generally it will be operating at a high speed okay so generally it will be more than 3500 rpm okay and it goes uh, up uh, based on the design so it can reach uh, 10000 rpm or it can reach uh, 20000 rpm also okay so that's how it will be designed so generally this will be running uh, under uh, uh, the speed will be low in uh, ac supply uh, whereas in case of dc supply the speed will be high so that's the another uh, uh, important uh, uh, point we can consider in the universal uh, motor okay so this is the theory part uh, small uh, uh, introduction regarding the uh, universal motor okay so what i explained just uh, it has been uh, uh, replaced here so now i'll come into the uh, basic uh, types of uh, universal motors so one will be called as the compensated type motor and second will be calling it as the uncompensated type motor so this is nothing but again uh, uh, based on your uh, windings okay so how it will be uh, wound so based on that will be calling it as the compensated and uh, non compensated uh, or uncompensated type uh, motors okay so while coming to the compensated type motors okay the motor includes the distributed field windings okay and the stator core is been uh, uh, represented uh, or which will be related to your uh, split uh, phase motors so what we have seen in case of your single phase induction motor so we used to have a uh, different types of uh, single phase induction motors okay so one was the uh, split phase uh, induction motor so capacitor start uh, uh, single phase induction motor capacitor start capacitor run uh, in uh, motor okay and uh, shaded pole motor okay in that uh, uh, when we go for ac that is a uh, compensated uh, type so it will be having a split phase so that means uh, uh, it will be having uh, two windings okay so that's what we have seen in case of split phase so one is the axillary winding another is the compensated winding okay so axillary winding will be included only at the starting purpose 
so once the motor has been started the axillary winding will be removed from the circuit and it will be running with respect to the uh, main uh, uh, winding okay so similarly here also the compensated motor uh, will be having the stator core uh, which is related to the split phase okay so these motors uh, which will be including the axillary winding that is the additional winding so based on this that is the extra winding so compensated winding will decrease the reactance voltage so um, once it decreases the reactance voltage which cause the alternating flux uh, while uh, motor has been working in uh, ac so that is the uh, concept with respect to compensated motor so while coming to the non compensated motor so this motor can be used as a uh, two pole motor okay so which will be having n number of uh, laminated uh, uh plates okay so you can see in this picture okay so here you can see n number of laminated plates are there okay so now with respect to this n number of why we have to go to so generally to reduce the eddy current losses laminations are been used generally to reduce the eddy current losses so the motor uh, the armature can be uh, either it's a straight or it can be a skewed slots okay so here you can see this is the straight slots so here the windings will be done the gap where whatever we are see there we can uh, do the uh, windings so that the slots it can be either a straight slot uh, straight slots or you can see in this picture so the slots are little bit skewed okay so either we can go for the skewed slots okay so the winding leads uh, uh, can be connected uh, together uh, to the commutator okay so why the commutator is been used so uh, just to convert from uh, ac to dc so this kind of motors are been used for uh, high resistance with a brush to assist the enhanced uh, commutation okay so that is the purpose of uh, non compensated uh, motors okay so now with respect to uh, the construction so while coming to the construction see construction of a universal uh, motor it is uh, similar to that of your uh, dc machine so there is no much uh, difference with respect to the universal motor and uh, dc motor so even, even in case of dc motor we are having field coils and uh, armature okay so here also we have the uh, stator as the field and uh, rotor as the armature so stator which consists of the number of poles so here the number of poles are of two two poles okay so generally for uh, small machines we will go for uh, two poles okay so it consists of stator on which uh, field poles are been mounted the field coils are bound on the field poles so however the whole magnetic path is been laminated so why the laminated is been used necessary to minimize the eddy current which are uh, induced while operating on ac okay so generally the rotor while well, this is with respect to the stator while well, coming to the rotor so rotor is the armature so as i told the armature uh, uh, slots will be either uh, straight slots or it will be a uh, skewed slots okay so and uh, connected to the whatever the windings which have been worn are connected to the commutator and here you can see with respect to this uh, picture so after uh, connecting to the commutator the brushes will be placed on this commutator where the current will be collected from the uh, commutator okay so that's the uh, concept uh, resting on it the commutation on ac is poor than that of dc because the current induced in the armature coils for the reason brushes used to have a high resistance so this is the reason why the ac uh, commutation is poor compared to your dc com commutation so this is regarding the construction so now we'll come into the working of a uh, universal motor so this is the uh, uh, circuit diagram which will be represented for both uh, ac as well as uh, dc so if you see here the uh, ac supply terminals or dc supply terminals which is being connected to the field coils so there is the poles so from the field coils it is connected to the brush contacts that is the rotor so again from the other brush contact it is connected to the another uh, uh, next terminal okay so as i told it can be used for both uh, ac as well as uh, ac as well as uh, dc 
so the work car will be like a dc series motor itself okay which is uh, having a high speed okay uh, whenever the current has been uh, passed through the uh, field coils so whenever the current has been passed through the uh, field windings so it produces the electromagnetic field so due to which the uh, flux will be linked to the rotor so that is uh, the current uh, will uh, flow in the armature conductors so when the current flows in the armature conductors then the it experiences a force so f is equal to bil okay so due to which the mechanical force will be produced so due to that mechanical force the torque will be produced when the rotor is been starts rotating so uh, whenever we go for the motor so the principle what we have been following will be the fleming's right hand rule okay so with respect to this so, uh, hence uh, whenever we go for uh, the directions okay the uh, direction will be having a universal so that is will be having a dc uh, means in both the case so whenever the ac supply is been given which produces a unidirectional torque so because the armature winding and the field winding are connected in series so with respect to this uh, the polarity of ac will be changing changing periodically so whenever the ac supply is been given so it will be changing periodically so one is the positive half cycle another will be the uh, negative half cycle so the direction of current in the armature uh, and the field reverses at the same time so thus the direction of magnetic field and direction of armature current reverses in such a way that the armature conductor experiences the force which will be having the same direction so this is regarding the working of uh, this is regarding working of a universal motor so next we are coming to the speed uh, characteristic that is the speed with respect to the load so here you can see the dc so when we go for dc the speed is high compared to your uh, uh, ac okay so as soon as the load is been uh, uh, applied the generally uh, the speed uh, starts uh, decreasing so this is the full load torque okay so full load torque again torque is directly proportional to flux into ia when we go for uh, dc okay so uh, flux again it is a series motor so ia square okay so that's why you can see the graph which is uh, high compared to your uh, ac okay so the speed of inertial motor is uh, low at uh, full load and very high at uh, no load so usually uh, gear trains are being used to uh, get the required speed on uh, required loads okay so gears will be represented for uh, different uh, loads so this is what the speed torque uh, characteristics will be uh, given so generally with respect to the how the control can be done so in case of a universal motor okay so yes obviously we can uh, do the speed control for a universal motor i think uh, uh, are you doing pe lab this time excuse me hello yes sir yes sir are you conducting the pe lab no sir only op amps so we have it next semester sir ah, okay so next semester you'll come to know there is one experiment uh, uh, in your uh, uh, polytronics lab there is a universal motor so there you'll come to know how the speed will be uh, controlled okay so to control that is a ac motor uh, that can be controlled with the help of uh, thyristor uh, circuits okay so based on that we can uh, do the speed controlling of your uh, universal motor okay there are several methods uh, that have been available to control the uh, speed okay so one method uh, we can go for the thyristor uh, circuit so and also we can go for uh, designing so designing again it depends upon uh, uh, which uh, driver circuit will be using okay so that's how the uh, thing comes into consideration that there, there is a uh, Uh, controlling the speed of a uh, universal motor okay 
so i'll come into the characteristics so you can see the characteristics the speed is uh, smaller at the uh, full load condition as well as extremely high at uh, uh, no load condition okay so when the load uh, if it is zero so you you are not you'll not get any uh, speed so as the load is been uh, moved to certain value so you can see here as the load is low your speed is high okay so that is uh, under no load condition so here uh, generally the gear, gear trains are mainly used for getting necessary speed okay so these uh, motors are been used for high speed as well as a uh, huge uh, starting torque so like uh, drilling machines uh, uh, or uh, in case of uh, uh, vacuum cleaners okay so in such such type of applications we can uh, use universal motor so and also when you compare with respect to the efficiency okay so efficiency is not that much uh, good so because uh, uh, eddy current losses uh, will be more so which affects the power factor okay so as the power factor uh, is uh, low so as we know uh, generally the uh, depends upon the uh, power so as the power uh, uh, comes into consideration or uh, that is output so generally your efficiency decreases okay so that's what uh, with respect to the characteristic uh, we can tell and uh, while coming to the application point of view universal motors uh, home appliances as i told like uh, vacuum cleaners so drink and uh, food mixers so as i told uh, in case of uh, mixer grinder okay so in the, in mixer grinder we are using uh, this type of uh, a uh, motor okay so if you want you can uh, cross check or uh, uh, whenever you are visiting in electrical uh, for electrical shop for uh, replacing your uh, iron box coils or any mixi repairs so there uh, if you tell him to show the parts so you can see or in our lab itself uh, we can uh, we are having okay the parts of the mixi so if you ask an answer we'll he will show you so there uh, we are using this type of uh, motor okay and uh, domestic uh, uh, swing uh, machines and also when we go for high rating universal motors so in portable uh, drilling machines and blenders etc so there we are uh, uh, using uh, this type of uh, machines and also in case of uh, polishers okay so blowers so there also we are uh, using this type of uh, machines okay so hair dryers so in case of uh, table fans grinders so there uh, we are using uh, this type of uh, motors okay uh, any doubts with respect to universal motors any doubts with respect to universal motors no sir no sir okay so uh, next uh, i'll come to the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, universal motor so while coming to the advantages so first advantage since uh, as i told in the initial stage uh, it is having a high uh, starting torque okay so high starting torque uh, throughout the uh, setup so generally uh, the speed uh, as i told here it is more than exceeding 3000 rpm and uh, depends upon the uh, design so it can reach up to 25000 rpm also so with respect to the speed the speed can be adjusted by using the uh, different uh, driver circuits okay so these are some of the uh, advantages of a uh, universal motor so while coming to the disadvantages so generally uh, it requires some uh, protection okay so whenever we are going for a uh, uh, utilization of machine using universal motors so we need uh, uh, regular protection okay why because the speed is a bit high okay so it can uh, so whatever the suppose if you are not covering the mixer grinder at the top simply if you switch on automatically Uh, it uh, flashes out whatever it is there in the mug okay and next uh, as i told uh, uh, it has having a poor uh, 
uh, efficiency so approximately it will be less than uh, 80% okay so that is the another uh, drawback with respect to universal motor and next while coming to the uh, another uh, drawback the uh, vibration is uh, uh, high so because of uh, uh, two poles okay the pulsations uh, uh, will be the pulsating uh, thing will be more okay the whatever the torque uh, it will be having more pul pulsation so due to that uh, vibration uh, will be more okay so that is the another uh, disadvantage so, so the another disadvantage uh, it is having uh, more noise so compared to uh, if you see the mixi okay so generally so how much uh, noise uh, it comes so when you compare with respect to your uh, induction motors okay so uh, it is having uh, more or noise next uh, the losses uh, when it is uh, running under no load okay so eddy current losses uh, will be more so this has to be avoided so when we go for uh, uh, under no load so that's why uh, we can see more number of laminated plates have been used in uh, the poles so here uh, you can see the pole okay so here you can see this is the pole so throughout a full uh, circle with 360 degrees there will be a number of uh, laminated plates okay so this is uh, depends upon the design so if you see in this design so here there is uh, some gap with respect to the pole so here also the pole is not been fully constructed but still the pole core is been fully completed okay so by using more uh, n number of laminated plates the eddy current losses can be minimized and uh, losses can be avoidable avoidable so this is the another uh, uh, drawback with respect to the universal motors the, these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of uh, universal motor any doubts any doubts Okay, so I'll uh, 